All right, for breakfast this morning, I just went down to Biscuit Love, waited in line for what felt like forever, and then came back up with a couple of different items here. Given how long the line was, I'm hoping that this place should be pretty good. So it looks like it's uh, just like a typical oatmeal, but it's got a bunch of uh, cherries, pumpkin seeds, it looks like, and granola. Not sure what that is, but it looks like a chickpea. Pretty nice oatmeal. It's not too sweet. There was an oatmeal I got at the hotel we were staying at previously, and they put so much like sugar in it, it was crazy. But this actually has a really nice mild sweetness to it. Next we have these, uh, they called it the lily. I think these are like uh, a type of like biscuit, and it looks like it's like drenched in syrup and something sweet. Just have a small bite here. Let's see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's it's very sweet. Tastes like something I would eat for a dessert, honestly. These, they call it bonuts. Yeah, literally just a fried ball of dough. So it comes with these two sauce. This is like a cream. Cream cheese? Wasn't expecting cream cheese. And then uh, the other one here is a uh, blueberries. All right, so let me take some of this cream cheese, spread a little bit of it on, put some of the blueberry, Pretty good, but look at all that sugar. Well, there you have it, a Nashville breakfast. I, I've noticed it's like really hard to eat healthy here in Nashville, simply because like everything is fried. I think that's one thing I'm excited to go back to San Francisco for, is that it's relatively easy to find a lot of different health-friendly options. Something that I will miss about Nashville is just how nice the city feels. Compared to San Francisco, I felt very safe walking around town. Although many of the people that have spent their lives in Nashville may feel differently, I was quite impressed with all of the new developments. Here in what is known as the Gulch, there are several new apartment complexes, restaurants, and shopping available. While exploring this part of Nashville, we came across a restaurant that served alligator meat. So we're currently here at this place called the Gumbo Bros. Gumbo is kind of like this food that I've always wanted to try, Creole style food. So it's this Nanny's Seafood Gumbo. It has Gulf shrimp, blue crab meat, and a homemade crab stock. And then the other thing we ordered is like alligator meat. This looks like maybe like chicken nuggets or something, but, but alligator meat. Let's see, this is, uh, this is the gator. The gator. <laughs> and then this is the gumbo. Interesting, mm. it's like a soup almost. I guess that's what gumbo is, right? All right, let's try this gumbo. This looks really interesting. Let's see, there's got okra, a lot of rice in this. Little piece of crab meat there. Not a very strong seafood flavor, I think, in my opinion. Oh, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Pretty salty though. Pretty good though. You wanna try it? Oh yeah, it's spicy. Too spicy for you? It's okay. Well, it was a big chunk. Oh, it's a shrimp. Oh, it's spicy. Good thing you got this uh, Starbucks milkshake to cool your mouth down. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of shrimp in here. Oh, nice, it's all at the bottom. All right, let's see how these gators taste. I think that's like a, it is a fry sauce, right? It looks Should like be. a fry sauce. No, this oh, is it? alligator, mom. Does it taste like chicken? I think it's tougher than chicken. It's almost like pork. Really? How interesting. I 100% would have thought this was pork. Let's see. Interesting, it's like very, uh, it is very fatty, you're right. It kind of does have like a pork vibe to it. Not bad though. So I think the one different thing that I was expecting about this gumbo is that, you know, when you go to like those crab restaurants, you get like the Cajun seasoning. I think I was expecting this to have more of a Cajun taste to it, but it's not. It's more similar to like minestrone soup. Well, I think at this point, we've done most of what I had wanted to do in Nashville. There's one additional site. Uh, it's like an old car museum that looked kind of interesting, so Amanda and I are going to head over there now. I was supposed to get a rental car today and we could go around to a couple more places outside of Nashville, but uh, I had booked for the wrong day apparently. Like I booked for it yesterday instead of today, unknowingly. So I'll uh, change of plans. All right, here we go. The Lane Motor Museum. Kind of an interesting place, quirky place, I guess. Looks like it's $12 admission fee for adults. Oh wow, look at all these. This is a lot of cars. 
So I think this place is actually quite a bit more interesting than I was expecting. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to have this many cars. The guy said there was like over a hundred something in the showroom, 300 in their basement or their storage area or something. There's a lot of really cool cars in here. This is actually a really cool museum. I didn't think I was gonna have this much fun being here, but actually I really like these old cars. Now be sure to check out this museum if you're ever here in Nashville. You know, there's some cars in here that have very excellent designs. And then some of them that I'm just like, who, what was the designer thinking when they built this? Oh, this is a, this is a BMW. I don't even know what to say about this. This is weird looking too. It's another one of those front entry doors. How do you get in the back seat? I don't even see a door. Is there a door on the other side for this, for the back seat? Oh, there is. This one's so funny. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a three wheeled car. It's just, <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny. <laughs> All right, well, there's two more places we want to head to Germantown, like the farmer's market area. I put that in uh, the previous video. If you haven't seen that go check it out, but I haven't taken Amanda down there yet, so we're gonna head over there today. And then for dinner, there is a place we wanna go to. It was like a hawker Asian street food or something. I was kind of surprised to see that, especially over here in Nashville, and the food looked uh, pretty decent. So uh, yeah, we'll see you over there in a second. All right, I wasn't gonna record this part since I had already been over here to the farmer's market, but uh, I went to one of these uh, Chinese stalls in there and uh, it wasn't really a Chinese, it's kind of like, they had one of everything, like Japanese food, they had poke, they had Chinese food, they had tiger sugar, not real tiger sugar, obviously. Anyway, they had like a Thai tea there, so I thought I'd try it, and uh, this is not Thai tea. It's, it's so fruity and sweet. Like, I think, it, it, actually it might be Thai tea, there's just so much sugar in it that it doesn't taste like Thai tea anymore. All right, we just arrived at the uh, Asian hawker street food restaurant. Looks really busy. Let's go see what they have inside. guys well pretty surprised by this restaurant a lot of authentic dishes not necessarily cooked 100 percent authentically but uh it was good enough so anyway hope you enjoyed watching click the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one